Look to your right, look to your left. I hope there's a window next to you because looking over to my left, it is an absolutely gorgeous day outside. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining, the kids are riding their bikes. Better not be in my lawn. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on with the, the this is uh, Dusk. We're listening to, we're going to move on to the next track here, Slow Emotion Replay. Uh, I would just imagine this is, in my mind, okay, listen, this isn't the millennial enemy. Slow Emotion Replay. I just imagine one of those really funny moments like on America's Funniest Home Videos or even something like that, a YouTube fail video where something happens and it's really funny and then they slow it down you really get to see every really every moan of it. Those are good times. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's give it a run. We'll talk about it after. Let's go. A little spicy with the kickoff there. I love this bright guitar tone here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what instrument was that being played at the very end? It's like this. That's not what it sounds like, but it's like it's really faint. It's like. Hold on, hold on. Let me back it up, like right here. You hear it? That wow, 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 wow. like what? What is what? What's creating that sound? Before we talk about the song, yes, yeah, lovely. But what? Is, what sound is that? What's creating that? Because it's so faint and kind of indistinct to my ears that I can't quite tell what it is. I can't tell if that's like a harmonica still, or if it's a guitar, or if it's some sort of keyboard. I don't know. It's just in the back doing. Wow. I like the sound, I just don't know what it is and I, I would like to know. Okay, first of all, Slow Emotion Replay sounds like the perfect single from the album. I don't see here that it charted or anything like that. Matter of fact, I'm not sure if anything, if any single on this album was released or, or charted or anything. But this to me sounds, oh, you don't know the, oh, no, the album, okay. No, but this does sound like a, a great single. It's, it's catchy, it gets you kind of the heart of the band, what they're made of and what they do and it kind of gets you out in a three minute, 50 second song. The depth and the range of uh, Johnson's voice, I really enjoy his tone. W one reason I, I like his tone is because I like singers, like this just is me personally, I like singers with a deeper kind of rich voice. Obviously my love of Davis Sylvian, Scott Walker. <sighs> I'm forgetting the other guy's name, Richard Hawley. Um, like, I have a, Tinder Sticks, the lead singer there, I have a fondness for singers that have that kind of slightly deeper voice and that rich voice. It doesn't have to be as deep as some of those singers, but just going towards that level. And Johnson is on that level. And I love the, the range that he expresses himself with. We haven't heard like a, a, a big, I guess, literal range necessarily yet. You know, I, I really enjoy what I've heard, but not like a little literal range where you can, you know, you sing low and then you sing like, ah! like, not like that. But he has a certain emotional versatility that I find really, really well done here in the music. When he kind of deepens his voice and he softens it, or when he's speaking a little harsher, it comes across more of an emotional harshness rather than a, a vocal or physical one in the music, which is kind of like the easy way to do, right? Like, I can yell and sound harsh, or I can... I can really get you with an emotional kind of kind of response. So that that's what I mean. I really really enjoy that. Uh, the harmonica, like I said, the way that it kicked off, is very spicy. You have some really nice and bright guitar work as well throughout this one. Once again, so far this is an album that I'm just just lapping up, just just lapping it up. Anyways, tell me what that sound was at the end. <laughs> just it, it's bothering me. The more I see, the less I know about all the things I thought were wrong or right and carved in stone. So don't ask me about war, religion, or God, love, sex, or death, because everybody knows what's going wrong with the world. But I don't even know what's going on in myself. And then he just repeats that. So I like that. He, this, this constant, you know, something's wrong. I don't know what it is. Don't ask me. Don't ask me for an opinion because I don't know. And, and don't, so don't even bother. Because I can't even figure out exactly what's going on in myself. So how can I even begin to speculate on things outside of myself? I, I just like that little bit of like self-reflectiveness, that admittance there. You've got to work out your own salvation with no explanation to this earth we fall. On hands and knees we crawl and look up to the stars. We reach out and pray 
to a deaf, dumb, and blind God who never explains. Pretty self-explanatory. No, no, there's no answer. You know, we sometimes think we have an answer, or we, we hypothesize an answer, but there's really no answer. <laughs> so, and of course, obviously, with all the things going on, when he says, you know, a, a deaf a deaf God, because they don't hear, uh, a, a dumb God, I'd imagine because things are still wrong, <laughs> and a blind God who doesn't see what's happening, that, that kind of thing. Lord, I've been here so long, I can feel it coming down on me. I'm just a slow emotion replay of somebody I used to be. Hmm. I'm just a slow emotion replay of somebody I used to be. Not slow motion replay, but a slow emotion replay. So how about this? A slow motion replay is obviously a slow-mo capture of some event, something that you see and something that that person has experienced. A slow emotion replay is he's feeling those same feelings, but he's, he's feeling them slow down. Perhaps they're hitting him deeper than before. Like, you know, there's something there's something in that specific phrase, and of course, the title of the song. I do think it's interesting that in the outro, he does say, Lord, I've been here so long, after everything he said before. So that's kind of cool, right? It's kind of like a XTC with Dear God, a, a little bit like that. Huh. But that slow emotion replay of somebody I used to know. Hmm. There's some... There's some... There's something there. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on Twitter. Support the channel on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.